Side by side, they are door to door at a turn four, and Martin will take the advantage by a car oh, left. Wow, great down up in that corner for Mark Martin. That might have been the move that wins him this I'm race. Fast right here, Mark Toy is still looking hard, chewing on that rear bumper. Now it's Hamlin to the outside. This is what Mark Martin wants to see in his mirror. Somebody getting back here to occupy the 32 car. Coming down for the white flag, this time by Mark Martin trying to hold off and hold on to a five car link advantage for the white flag. Martin has never won a race in New Hampshire. See Kyle Brooke there on the outside of Jimmy Johnson trying to take that four spot away. Got a spin off of turn four. He's already taken the white flag. So they'll race back here to the checkered flag. Caution's not out yet, they're still racing. No caution yet. They got cars sitting here, they're gonna have to throw the caution. Still not out. Still not out. It's going to come into the checkered flag. Now the call is coming to the checkers. Coming to the checkers. And it is officially over. Watch out. Watch out. The caution's out. You got it to win. As soon as that caution comes out, the field is frozen, and so Mark Martin was automatically the winner. And yeah, NASCAR did everything they could to let these guys race it back uh, to the to the finish line there, but A.J. Allmendinger couldn't get his car started until these guys were coming off of turn four. Mark Martin. Baby, you are unbelievable. He really unbelievable. is unbelievable. Look, you, move. Are. you know, to hold off Montoya, who has just been the most aggressive, fastest car out there today. I'm speechless. I can't talk right now, Mark. All right, we'll get out when you get over here and win it, sir. What? Let's go down to the bench. Well, remember getting Alan, another, uh, another victory for your team. A great way to start the chase. What's going through your mind there, restart after restart? That was tough. You know what? You try really hard to keep your emotion out of this. You work so hard. and It's tough when, it, when, you, when you, we, we took a gamble on a pitch strategy and it paid off and, and Mark did an awesome job for us. And then caution after caution after caution came out. They kept getting shots at us. But how good is Mark Martin? You know, it's unbelievable. This guy's phenomenal this race team's awesome so uh it's a great start for a chase uh good momentum we know we got a lot of work to do but so so proud of this team so proud of all Henry motorsports Cal's car quest everybody who supports this chevrolet a lot of fun right now mark speaks so highly of the relationship he has with you what's the key to that relationship and why it works so well i don't know i think we're a lot alike um I told somebody one time, you know, I grew up idolizing him. I think I tried to model myself after him, so it works. It works pretty good now that I work with him. But uh, he's so good, you know. I'm just fortunate enough to be the crew chief of this car and, and uh, at Henry Motorsports with all these guys and Mark Martin as a driver. Uh, really, really blessed. Alan Gustafson and Mark Martin, a winning combination. A week ago, he became the first driver 50 years of age or older to get into the postseason. And listen to this crowd. Do they appreciate the efforts of Mark Martin or what? Let's go down where Dave is caught up with Juan Pablo Montoya. Well, and it was a great restart and a great race all day, Juan Pablo. What was that final restart like trying to get the win? Oh, uh, it was good. You know, Mark just screwed me down there. He stopped the car in the apex, like right in the bottom. I had nowhere to go. I could have pushed him out of the way that has slow he run, but you know I respect him a lot. So probably next time I'll, I'll dip, I will. I won't wreck him, but I will bump him. But you know I'll tell you, everybody in this this team keeps doing an amazing job, and we keep surprising surprising people. Uh, and I, it's great to see. You know I was kind of worried when I was like 12, but you know, I came back strong, and you know it, I gotta really trust Ryan a little more. <laughs> Why do you say that? Well, it, you know we pick, we're the one of the last few cars to play, and I thought. Oh, we're getting beat by everyone. I said, don't worry, we have tires. We have tires. And, and he was right. All right, crew chief drivers still getting to know each other and real close to a win today, Doc. Montoya equals his best finish of the year. Second here. And the first ever top ten at New Hampshire. Well, the chase continues. There are nine races remaining. And boy, what a chase this is going to be. Folks, you like that? Uh, join us next week. Dover, Delaware, Kansas, all the way down to the finale at Homestead, Miami Speedway. And I'm not going to believe what Dale Jarrett said is true. We get to Homestead, we can have six, seven, or eight guys possibly running to win that championship. We've got a lot to look forward to. And if the rest of the nine are like this race right here, man, this is going to be a lot of fun. What a great job by Mark Martin, though. And uh, Kyle Busch came home to finish fifth. These guys uh, did a, a good job today for, for them, not being in the chase, but they really made a nice comeback. Let's go down to our degree V12 victory lane.
Let's go down to Jamie Little. 26 starts here in New Hampshire, and Mark Martin finally gets the win here at Loudoun. Mark, you said mid-race. This car is not bad, but it ain't a rocket ship. How important were your guys on pit road in that strategy by Alan Gustafson? Well, it's pretty darn good. Uh, Alan won the race. Uh, uh, it just, uh, Alan, Alan Gustafson's a man. This is a dream come true. I want to thank Kellogg's of Car Quest, Chevrolet, Sprint, uh, NASCAR, GoDaddy, and all the fans. Thank you guys. This, this is just incredible. I just, I, I, I'm sure, pinch me. I'm sure I'm sleeping. I'm sure I'm dreaming. Mark, you and Alan both said this was the wild card in the chase for you guys. You won it. What does that mean for the rest of the races? Well, we still have the lotto. Uh, tell them and, uh, and, and, and you know, I think we'll run okay. We're going to sixth at the spring, but I don't run good there. But this is my hardest place, the tough place. But it's just, it's these guys. You know, I mean, it's Alan and, and the guys that back him up and all the guys that surround him. He is the superstar today. You know, I can't believe we won that race. And all those cars, you know, heck, it couldn't be easy. You know, to run that that in with that lead there. You know, we had to have what three caution restarts and uh, all kinds of chances for me to mess up. But uh, and I did, but just I guess not enough to lose. You are the points leader by 35 now, Alan Beswick.